like fashion and which you require me to pass you know with the, you know uh, almost a perfect score in the troubleshooting session and I did quite well on that that allowed me to become a CCI from 1996 uh, and then onwards you know one thing I realized that don't give it up for whatever reasons and I've recertified already seven times um, so each time I you know uh, just to make you know things fun I go for different technologies so you know I've you know I've taken IP telephony uh, uh, you know uh, service provider uh, security and so forth on a different fields to recertify myself uh, uh, for being CCI so today the certification you know landscape is a little different um, you have not only CCI certification Cisco have different categories uh, at the lowest of the pyramid is the Cisco certified uh, um, you know uh, what they call the uh, uh, the entry level CCENT uh, the next level is the CCNA uh, the next level is CCNP uh, CCIE and the highest level actually are uh, not any more CCIE but uh, uh, Cisco certified architect or CCA uh, of course you can keep that away you know uh, if that is more related to business uh, you know a person that have done this for many years on the technology field have, have you know want to perform business IT alignment and uh, you know want to consult companies to build large-scale networks uh, so that's kind of certification they are building at that right now. Uh, there are very few people that you know uh, attempted that, uh, but mainly you would see that you know there are three certification that you you know uh, most of people are going today: CCNA, CCNP, and uh, CCIE. Of course, one level below the CCNA they call CCENT, uh, an entry level uh, you know uh, an exam uh, that give you a qualification, a certification. For a lot of folks that you know coming from a background of uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, uh, in a voice environment or coming from video or, you know uh, uh, type of background you know uh, by learning some fundamental in the uh, networking with the basic configurations you can go for that exams and acquire a base level certifications but most of them today you know they target for you know CCNA CCNP CCIE and uh, you know, uh, you know, you find CCI is a long-term engagement. Uh, on the other hand, CCNA relatively a lot of college kids already have CCNA. Uh, so you know, today the battleground, if I if I may call it, is actually in the CCNP. It's a lot of people have for improvement of their career, improvement of salary, uh, and opportunity to seek a new jobs. Uh, they are you know going for a CCNP in a cheaper target with uh, you know with you know some investment in your time and money uh, and an effort uh, a CCI is a longer term engagement so it's not you can do it in a year you know easily I see most people are taking two or three or in fact four years to get them you know to be one CCI and especially with the last year changes in the Cisco cert, you know, Cisco, you know, certification format that's you know it's incredibly become very hard so if I may just further elaborate on the CCNP, there are you know uh, there are actually three classes or three exams that you need to target. One is fundamentally on the route technology, uh, second is switch, and the other one is what they call T shoot or troubleshoot. So these are the three classes you need to attend. These are the three different exams you have to take. Um, but bear in mind, you know uh, this exam format, you know, it's not an easy format, you, you know, as you think. You know, it's become extremely hard. You know, even you download an exam crack, and and you prepare for that exams, chances are you know very high that you will fail, uh, simply because they have incorporated many simulation exams. That each one of the simulation may take like a five minutes. So you have five or six exams, simulation exams. Uh, they take most time of you know, out of these exams. Uh, second, they are hands-on based. They are practical, you know, uh, exams. And uh, even you know, even the multiple choice also they were extremely hard, and they're frequently changing, and the database is huge. So today, for you to memorize an exam, can I go for the Cisco exams? Uh, you know, your opportunity for, for past exams is very limited. So uh, you know, uh, my my suggestion is like a five step. You know, uh, that I recommend for CCNP students uh, that intend to pass successfully these exams at the same time. Uh, you know, want to take up the career to the next level, 
first, you know, make sure you attend these classes. So you learn a lot of, you know, different things from your trainers. And go, go for the authorized classes. Uh, you know, one, you have the, you know, uh, qualified trainers. Second, you have a certain structure in the classes that has minimum requirement those companies has to fulfill. So you go for a gray or, you know, uh, there's no standard on the labs. There's no standard on the books, on the lectures. So there is a very streamlined process, a worldwide qualification quality. So I would strongly recommend, you know, attend these, you know, uh, three classes, route, switch, and t-shoot. Uh, each one of them are five days. Space them out. Uh, don't do it all in one shot. Uh, first take a route exam or switch exams. Give two, three weeks break. Go for the next and the next and the next. So roughly you are looking at three months period where you take each one of these, you know, classes. Uh, then, of course, you could do a self-study on those materials that are provided to you uh, in the class. Uh, and the third recommendation is you, you have to you know, do a hands-on practice. Without hands-on practice, you're not going to go anywhere. You know, your career will not improve. You can't even pass exams now. So there is a lot of, you know, uh, there are you know, options for the labs. So make sure you seek those options on the lab so you can do practicals. The more you do, the chances of passing exam will be is better. So attending classes, I would say you are, you are improve your chances by fifty percent. Doing a hands-on practice will give you another thirty percent. And finally, of course, you need to have you know. I mean, my fourth step I recommend is mentorship. Make sure you have somebody can guide you. You know, join some self-study group or blogs or preparation classes. That you know, there are person you can talk to if there is a conceptual misunderstanding or you're stuck in some labs. So you need to have somebody, you know, uh, you, they, they can guide you. And the lastly, the exam crack portion, you know, you, there, there are a lot, plenty of exam cracks, you know, available on the internet. You can download them, practice them for, you know, uh, to get a gain experience and also, you know, to add, you know, uh, to build up your knowledge base. That's, I would say, it's 10 to 20% that supplement you to pass the exams. So overall, we do, you know, attend the class, do the practicals, have someone to guide you, uh, you know, uh, download some exam cracks or passes, you know, uh, exams uh, and, you know, uh, do a studies on that. Definitely that helps. Okay, so these are the five steps I would recommend. Uh, the, uh, in the IMS, you know, uh, you know, we offer these three different classes. Uh, our approach to this training is, you know, uh, uh, build your good foundation in the classes. Uh, make sure you, you know, we also give you additional hands-on practical labs that you can go home and do those practicals or you can come back to our office and practice those. And our trainers, including myself, available for, you know, uh, mentorship or guide or responses through, you know, different type of, you know, communication channels like, you know, phone calls or, uh, you know, email or chat uh, type of stuff. And definitely our hands-on labs where we give additional 18 hours labs uh, for you to practice will dramatically improve your chances of passing your CCMP exams. Uh, going back to the exam format itself, you know, uh, you know, there are five to seven simulation exams you will easily get in route switch. Um, you know, uh, and, and the database is quite huge. Uh, so for you to prepare these exams, you know, uh, by exam character is hard. Uh, so it's, it's key for you to understand the, the key technologies, foundation technologies, the cons, uh, the theory very important and apply those theory in the practical environment by, in the, in the, in the, in the, by hands-on labs. And also the, uh, you know, the, 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 the t-shirt, you know, the question can be same, but the answers are different, scenarios are different. So in fact, primarily 80-90% of these, you know, t-shirt exam is hands-on based, simulation based. So there's no way, you know, you can just download like, you know, uh, 100 questions and memorize the answers A, B and so forth and, you know, go for an exams. So those are, uh, and I would call it gone other days. So if you are serious about your career, if you want to improve your, uh, you know, uh, your career advancements, uh, if you are pursuing seriously the certifications, uh, my recommendation is, uh, you know, do the right way. Learn it the right way, uh, take your exams, uh, pass these exams, uh, but plan yourself. You need to have enough, you know, uh, plan uh, for your certifications. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, uh, 
you know, please email to me at aplani at imsasia.com. Thank you.